Okay, in this video we're checking out this uh, battery checker from URUAV. It's kind of a unique battery checker. It's got this little OLED display. We'll turn on here in a second and show you how it works. But um, I'm going to compare this to my favorite battery checker from ISDT, the BC-8S. And I think this one does up to 8S, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this one, the URUAV one only does up to 6S. And uh, this one has some different modes. We'll, I'll show you that here in a second. Now, this one is a, a kind of a different battery checker. It does have the battery checker function. We'll show you the voltage on each cell. But um, it also has this ability to check your receivers. So yeah, we can plug in a receiver over here. I'll demonstrate that as well. DSM, Spectrum receivers, SBUS receivers, uh, PWM, and PPM receivers, all of those. Um, just power on via micro USB on this side or micro, or micro USB C on this side. You can only use one or the other, not both. There is a little switcher here on top, so you can choose the voltage that goes to, I think, the receiver, 3.3 volts or 5 volts. So obviously the Spectrum guys will want to be on 3.3 volts, but I think a lot of uh, FreeSky receivers will also power up on 3.3 volts. But you want to make sure you're not on 5 volts if you're on a Spectrum receiver, you'll fry it. The, on this side here is where you plug in your battery, and then over here is where you plug in your SBUS receiver, and this one is the plug for... Uh, spectrum satellite receivers. Um, there is also a function button here that will switch between the different modes and I'll go ahead and show you that. I'll plug in a power source so the negative is on top and then positive this way so I'll plug in this battery here and I'll power the battery checker. This is just a two cell battery, nothing special and you can see the cell voltage. Cell 1 is 3.74 and cell 2 is 3.76. Nice uh, color OLED screen there. Unfortunately, this is all you see in the battery checker, just the voltage of each cell, not the total voltage or anything else like you would on the ISDT checker. So if you switch to the, different, to the function button here and switch to the different modes, it goes right into the receiving check, receiver checking function. You can see here, and I will show you that in a second. Let me just show you what goes on on my ISDT checker. Plug in uh, 2S LiPo on here as well. Negative is up on the left side here. And you can see yeah, it does read all of the different cells here, 1 through 8. That's the same as on the UR UAV version. And then you have buttons here to switch the different modes. So this will give you a percentage here. This will give you the lowest and also the highest or the average cell voltage. You have also this reading here. A little bar graph reading and you can also adjust the settings here this is a, i did a whole video on this as one as well but the point is that this one has more features in terms of battery checking and alarms because this has does have an alarm whereas the ur uv does not have an alarm so if you want more features and a little this is actually a little more pricey i believe check out the link for this one down in the description as well as the video on this one where i did the review um, this one does not have the receiver functions of the ur uv which we'll cover next so go ahead and Get this out of the way. You guys can check out the other video if you're interested in that. Now, if we want uh, to do some receiver checking, I have a XM Plus receiver here on a servo lead, and we'll just go ahead and plug that in. And we want to make sure that our polarity is correct here. So we have signal, VCC, and ground. So the yellow wire here is signal. So I'm going to plug it in like so. And now that should turn on the receiver. We have power. See blinking orange red light there. We're still in the battery checker function, so we'll go ahead and switch this to our S bus and see everything is at a thousand because there's no basically it's in fail safe mode. And we'll go ahead and turn on my radio. So I got my radio turned on here. It's already bound to this receiver, and you can see that all the there's activity now. This, is, this XM Plus receiver is uh, f uh, flashed with the uh, firmware that has RSSI on channel 8. As you can see, it is, it is uh, changing based on what I'm doing to the antenna there. And it it's going to be bouncing around. That is the RSSI signal that is sent over on channel 8. And then as we move our sticks around here, this is roll, pitch, and then we have yaw, channel 4, throttle on channel Three. So yeah, it looks like everything is working with this receiver. So you know, this is another way of testing your receivers. This is 
the same output you would get by uh, you would see like in Betaflight configurator um, when you have the uh, flight controller plugged into your USB port. This basically kind of serves the same function, but if you uh, want to test the receiver externally without a computer, then you could do it this way. And you can see that I just had a I just had a just cause the receiver to fail safe there somehow. I'm not sure maybe it's I'm too close. If you get too close, sometimes the receiver will fail safe. But no, no. Anyway, it did jump to just drop to zero for some unknown reason, and then it came back. Yeah, so that's just the RSSI there. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for this receiver. Um, and if you want to check the other functions, there's going to be DSM. That's going to be on this other plug over here. Obviously, the thing's plugged in there, so it's going to function the same way. And then you have DSM 2048 and also PPM and PWM. So none of those will work because this is an S bus receiver. Oh, it looks like I have a fail safe now. Hold on, let's see here. If I can get back. Yeah, I somehow, I, my receiver is in fail safe. Interesting. Must be when it is oriented in a certain way. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's because I'm just too close to the radio. It happens a lot sometimes with these XM Plus receivers. If you're too close, you can go into failsafe. Or just the way the antennas are. Anyway, totally not a topic of this video. That's going to do it for this video on this little URUV battery and receiver checker. If you want to check it out, there's a link down in the description. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.